is a sin. Morning, Daffod. Good morning, Miss Devers. Now, I just had a phone call from Ruth. She got terrible morning sickness, see, and she's not coming in today. Oh. So I'm going to put you with the new boy, Ethan. Ethan, you're 10 o'clock, sir. Yeah. Do you know, I think Ethan might be a gay. I think that's very unlikely. I am the only gay in the village. Hiya. <laughs> I'm Ethan, but all my friends call me Fanny. <laughs> Follow me. Too early to tell. <laughs> Come along now, take the weight off your lollies. It's a nice big skirt around you. <laughs> now, what can we do for you? A nice wash and blow? Would you like that? A blow? <laughs> Just a light trim, please. There right you are. So, do you, uh, do you go out much? Not really. Is there much of a scene? I beg your pardon? A scene, dear, a gay scene, you know, cocks and frocks. No, there is no gay scene in Tlandui Brevi. Just me. Really? Yes. I am the only gay in the village. Oh, not anymore, dear. Fanny's in town. There you are, loves. Oh, no signs. Fanny, love. You forgot your keys. Thanks. I am a dizzy cow. <laughs> right. Engine bracket me walking. So I'll see you later. His brother. As I hear what you say, but I think what you're proposing is an abuse of our friendship. Look, there are no half measures. Either you are with the United States on this, or you are against us. <laughs> well, I think we'll have to take advice from the United Nations, because I refuse to be bullied into making a snap decision. The United Nations can go to hell. If you want this special relationship with our country to continue, you're going to have to start delivery. <laughs> Before you rush into anything, perhaps you'd like to see what the British intelligence has to say. <laughs> and perhaps you'd like to see what the CIA has gathered. Sebastian, could you get the uh, document for the president, please? Yes, Prime Minister. I'll get it right now, Prime Minister. Uh, Marvin, can you get the CIA files for the Prime Minister, please? Yes, sir, Mr. President, sir. <laughs> My Prime Minister is so much better than your president. Mr. President's big and powerful and so rugged. You Prime Minister suck. How dare you! Get your hands off me, please, sir! Get your hands off me! Get your hands off me! Get your hands off me! You will, you will! You will. Oh, what on earth is going on? She is you fucking idiot! What is this? Did you mean it? 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 Did you This behavior is completely inappropriate. This is a difficult enough situation, and you're making it a lot worse. Let me handle this. You two should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> two senior aides acting like a pair of third graders. You're an embarrassment. <laughs> You love the countryside. I thought you said that the natural world had a sublime beauty, unrivaled by anything man made. No, no. Now, where are we exactly? This is barn, and I want to go home. Yeah, the trouble is, I think we're a bit lost. Let me just ask this lady. Uh, excuse me, love. I think we're a bit lost. Um, do you know the way to uh, Taplow Farm? Ah, uh, one moment. Hello, Mr. Horse. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> He's a good right, boy, isn't he? Let's yeah. have a look now. Right. Taplow Farm, it's quite a way. Yeah, it's there on the map. I thought we were near it. Now, where the yellow line marked here. Oh, well, I thought lane. we would come along this way. No, no, we're still from that other side. Card and coke, please, my van. Coming right up. <laughs> so, 
How did the audition go? It was a complete waste of time. The director said he couldn't see me as Hamlet. I'm sorry, my family, but the Landawi Breffy Amateur Dramatic Society is completely homophobist. Oh. <laughs> well, what audition speech did you do? It's raining men by the weather girls. <laughs> well, maybe you'll get a part in the panto. I very much doubt it, Mafanui. It's very difficult for gay people to make it in the theatre. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot think of a single gay actor. <laughs> oh, I nearly forgot. Your brother rang. Really? Said he's going to pop over. Says he's got something important to tell your ma and da, and he wants your advice. Oh, wonder what it could be. <laughs> oh, he hasn't got some girl pregnant. <laughs> Hiya. Hello, Dewey. Oh, he's bought his friend Pedro. Hello. Hola. Dos vicaria coke, por favor. So, do we? What's the matter? Um, well, um. Fella, fella, fella. Fella, fella. Oh, mwah, 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 mwah. Nancy boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know I've always looked up to you as an older brother. Yes. And well, I'm thinking of coming out to Marandar and I wanted your advice. All right, sorry, coming out as what? Well, as gay. What? You're gay? I had no idea. <laughs> I suppose I've hidden it quite well. <laughs> Have you told Pedro? Si, si por la dona culo. <laughs> Pedro knows. Oh. Well, whatever you do, you mustn't tell Marandar. Why not? We've already got one gay in this family. We don't need two. But they need to know. All right, let me think. Uh, how do you feel about being bisexual? But I'm not. I'm gay. Uh, bisexual? Horrible! <laughs> Couldn't you at least try it? The boy likes cock, Davy. <laughs> Look at him. He's bloody gagging for it. Si, sí, senora, huh? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> I'm sorry, my family, I am not having a gay brother, and that's that. Oh, he was like this when I told him about my first taste of Fanny. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Daffith, but I'm off home to tell them now. Come along, Pedro. Sexo? <laughs> Later. <laughs> David Thomas, that was no way to speak to your brother and his boyfriend. Pedro's gay too? <laughs> Put our cigarette out, please. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> See your ticket, please? Yeah, I got my ticket. Right here. <laughs> I've warned you before, if you don't have a ticket, you're gonna have to get off. Oh my god, that is so unfair. This is like well, sexual harassment. If you like fancy me, why don't you just say so? God, this is exactly like the time Miss Rennick, whether I know this is a total lesbian, made Candice Burton stay behind after PE, started telling her off a gobbling on Samina Gashwani's hair. But everyone knows she only made her stay late because she wanted to get off with her. Because when she was telling her off, her legs were wide open and Candice struck and she could see a spider. Right, you don't have a ticket, you can get off at the next stop. It's okay, Vicky. I got you a ticket. One for you, one for me. Thank you. What'd you do that for, you two virgin? I don't get any tickets, get any bus, I'm Vicky Pollard! Oh my god, if anyone hears about this, they're gonna think I'm well sad. This is like the time Tony Tuesday took the whole of the fourth year that I shat myself on the field trip to the ancient city of Bath. <laughs> it wasn't me, it was Bernice Donnelly, and I can prove it because I made a tape of her crying and admitting it. And anyone that says I'm not hard as well gonna get spammed. Sorry, Vicky. Don't look like we're gonna get chucked off now. That's what you reckon. Oi! Haven't finished yet? <laughs> Ooh, 